Welcome to Digital Asset News, take a top stories in cryptocurrency digital assets and break them down to bite-sized pieces. Today, we're going to continue on with our trinity of trading. We've got Weston Nelson. He is the product manager, head of business development over at Trade the Chain. Hello, Weston. And also, we've got uh, CJ, one of the top traders over there at Market Rebellion. He is our TA person. Now, if you don't know, we usually do this in a round-robin format. Everything starts with Weston, where we do technical analysis, or excuse me, sentiment analysis through the platform to trade the chain. And what they do is they, that platform crawls the internet through the blog posts, the different websites. It also has, is only one of five different uh, companies that has a direct API to Twitter and takes a look at what is going on. If it passes through Weston, it gets to CJ. CJ does the, the technicals and tells us if this is a good buy or not. And finally, it'll go to me, which I am the weakest link right here. And I just tell him things about the fundamentals, which these guys already know anyhow. So we'll get this going and we'll see if we can find a winner right now. And perfect. Before, perfect. And before we start, just so you know, I need to tell you one thing. As we go through, let me share my screen. All the trades that we do on uh, the Trinity of Trading, there'll be a link in the description below. I'll do a little nice little graphic. And you can find it, but it's super simple. Everything that we do, we show you what we've um, invested into the time, the date, and how much we've uh, gained or lost. And we'll also be linking the actual video to it so you can actually review what we talked about. Anyhow, gentlemen, I like them. Let's those start. are four really good projects, by the way, long term ones, in my opinion. Um, yeah, man, I think so. So, okay, um, let me share the screen. You guys should be able to see it. Uh, trade the chain. It's a lot of stuff. Yeah. Always cool stuff. I, I just started le leading with trade the chain for all my videos now because it's, it's, it's got all the market caps, all the, the top coins and it tells us sentiment analysis. So it's pretty cool. Yeah. It's, yeah. That's really helpful. That, that, that might be good, good for a member growth too. Um, you know, cause sure. people see that and you know, uh, but, um, Okay, sorry, lost my train of thought. Um, <laughs> okay. Here. All right, so um, navigating to trade the chain. Let's see, I want to get the most updated refresh one five minutes ago. Okay, so as you're doing this, I'll, I'll let me narrate a little bit. So Wesson right there, he clicked on the one hour projected range. That's going to give us with 90% certainty that these coins, these tokens are going to be within this range. So the very first one you see is Aragon. And the one hour projected range is between is that negative 7% to plus 9%. Yeah, a lot of volatility. I, I don't like that one. No. Um, what else? Um, so Orchid o OXT um, is the second highest one. Unfortunately, it's not, you know, a massive uh, but yeah. it's in a tighter range. Um, and this would be my pick. Yeah, maybe this wasn't the best day to do this, huh? <laughs> you know, it'd be great is if we had something like negative 0.5 and plus 20%, that'd be great. I would definitely do that. I've seen those before actually. Yeah. Yeah. We've, yeah, we've, we've had, we've had some crazy ones. Um, like when Dogecoin was doing its thing, it was like minus, 20 to plus 40 or something sure. absolutely insane uh, Volta. but you know it's down down a percent over the last hour um it's at what 46 cents now it's available on coinbase the sentiment on the day is picking up which i like a lot and then the tweet volume is off the charts which i, I checked um it's because of a re review um that they got you know publicized so cool uh it's it's up big but I still like it from the sentiment. The sentiment seems to be be strong. Okay, so so round one check. CJ, you're up. What do we got for the technicals? Yes, so let's take a take a look down at uh, Market Rebellion platform OXT, and this is one that uh, has spiked on fundamental news. Like uh, Weston mentioned, we had a review of the project um, come out very favorable. And uh, based on a longer term time frame, uh, it, it is kind of concerning to see that we have the nine here. 
Um, that does mean we can still go up in the interim, but it does generally mean that price will temporarily come back below uh, this top nine level, which in this case would be about 45 cents. Um, but if we look at a sh shorter term time frame, maybe we can find a more specific breakout level where we're clearly getting above resistance. Um, and if I reload the charts, maybe we'll see. More of a get in, get out kind of opportunity. Um, yeah, yeah, right. Because it's tough to judge this one because we've had a lot of interesting plays as of late. We've had things like Stormax, Kyber Network, um, all of these hitting double digits. Uh, but as you can see, we're kind of doing the same thing on the one out. We're kind of coming down below after reaching this sequential cell nine on the one hour time. So what I would look for uh, pairing with such of those good fundamental metrics uh, and sentiment metrics, I would look for a breakout above this nine level at 47 cents. So there are things, and, and we do this in the Market Rebellion community when we publish trade insights for our members. Um, we will pick a trigger level. So I won't just publish a, a trade insight and say, okay, get in the trade now. No, it'll be like, all right, you know, if price reaches this trigger level, then I'll really consider entering a long trade. And in this case, that trigger would be 47.8. Um, so we'll see. You know, as you can see, we're kind of getting that sell off right now. So you don't want to don't want to jump in prematurely. This is what I like to call waiting for confirmation of that breakout level. And typically, we want to pair that with an increase in volume as well. We're not seeing that yet, but if it flips in the next hour or so, uh, based on that tweet volume and that projected range, we could have a nice uh, a long trade here. So we'll see. I like that. And that and that would be riding the, the nine, you mean, essentially just momentum-wise a little further, but inevitably back down. So we would have to wait another hour just to see because those are all candlesticks on the hour? Yeah, it wouldn't necessarily be a time frame. It would more or less be a price range. So if we could close this one hour range above the price of 47 cents, that would be enough for me to get into the long trade. Because essentially that means we've finished the correction period from the nine. After we reach a nine, typically price will go through a one to four candle correction phase of you know the opposite color or a jumble of colors. And then we will resume the previous uptrend or downtrend, whatever it currently was. Gotcha. Well, so as everybody knows on this channel, I'm not a big trader, but I started to do it just because of you guys and what, what the platform it is. So I'll probably put in a little bit of money just to see how it goes. Because if you're doing like one to 2%, it's not a big deal. If you're doing 100% on leverage trading, it's a big deal, right? So yeah, we'll see how it goes. If it does close above uh, for, that, for that price point, uh, definitely I'll put a little bit more money in, but I will mark this right now. It is February 5th at 2.30 p.m. That is Mountain Center time, and I will put that in right here. For Orchid, let's, first of all, let's take a look at the yeah. some fundamentals. And then CJ, while I'm doing that, can you do me a favor? Can you pull up that education platform that you were showing me as far as for Market Rebellion? Because I want to show everybody that, about the uh, basics of uh, TA stuff. Let me share my screen. And let's take a look. So, since Weston was talking about all the tweet volume and everything else, let's go take a look at the Twitterverse and see what's going on. Hey, there's Mark Moss. Hey, there's Coin Bureau. Hey, there's Sheehan. There's a bunch of people I don't know. <laughs> so let's see. So let's search. So it was Orchid, right? There it is. Uh, yeah, the protocol. This? Oh, right here. At Orchid Protocol. Yep. So let's see what's going on. So every time I do this, there's always a pinned tweet. It always makes me, I'm like, what is this? T-Mobile? No, that's nothing. Uh, two hours ago, Macworld. This is what you were talking about, CJ, right? Yes. Uh, okay, so let's see why. Okay, so what did they say? I'm gonna guess they said it was pretty positive if the price went up that. Work is not your typical VPN, but for cryptocurrency fans, like for an anonymity, it could be the right choice. Uh, 40 bucks, uh, a lot of capability, paying for Orchid. Just go to the, using Orchid as a snap, that's good. Decentralized part, great. Security and privacy, performance. In our, in our time using Orchid, we found the speeds were moderate to fair, but not outstanding. No, it is what it is. 
the Mark IV is looking for regular users. We're just looking for a simple VM. Could also use Orchid. Uh, okay. Do you guys know what the token is used for and its role in the ecosystem of the VPN? I was thinking it was something probably like maybe like maybe like Theta, where like people who who have like unused uh, portions of it of uh, of bandwidth or something that it comes in there. You know, what we could do. Let's figure it out. Interesting. Yeah, I was going to say, because um, like, you know, with Brave, obviously, um, which I love, did you get, I don't know if you guys use Brave Browser, but the basic attention token um, and privacy focus, yeah, Orchid, with Orchid being a VPN, yeah. what would be the So this is OXT? A, yeah, Orchid Protocol organizes bandwidth sellers into a structured peer-to-peer -peer network, uh, term the Orchid market. Customers connect to the Orchid market and pay bandwidth sellers in order to form a proxy chain to a specific resource on the internet. So whatever you're not using, you sell off, which is pretty cool. You know, that's, that's exactly kind what similar to Theta. Yeah, kind of similar to Theta. Theta is kind of, but you know, Theta, you have to, you have to download the uh, node. You kind of just sit there, whatever bandwidth that you have, you use that and then you get T-Fuel. I think that one's going to be big too. But. Okay, I mean, it looks good. So uh, we'll go with that. Yeah, I like this. And the, the other thing I was going to add is, you know, it's it's been a such a hot market. Um, I, I don't know if it was Warren Buffett or somebody said this, but, you know, the beautiful thing about investing and trading is you don't have, when you're at, at, at bat, you don't have to swing, you know, you don't always have to place a trade. Um, yeah, you just kind of, there's not, you know what I mean? Yeah, I remember. I remember he said he said the same thing. He said uh, about risk. He said there's a lot of opportunities that I that I passed on, and I missed a lot of a uh, lot of gains. And I'm going to miss even more as time goes on, because I don't need the uh, risk. I I am in it for the sure bet. So that's 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 the advantage of having billions of dollars, everybody. So if you have billions of dollars, you can do that stuff. <laughs> hey, just real quick, if you're looking for for where Orchid to buy Orchid, um, you can always go to CoinGecko. And then just click on the pairs, and it's right there. So Coinbase, I know it's on Coinbase regular. Why does it just say Coinbase Pro? It's on Voyager as well. Orchid, uh, oh, by OXT. Voyager, I've heard that one. Everybody calls me a shill. I talk about it so much. <laughs> I'll talk about it then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can get it commission free on Voyager. Okay. Um, cool. Uh, hey, but but yeah, all those places, Coinbase. Yeah. Okay, so let's do that. We'll mark it. I'll buy it. Actually. CJ, pull up. Can you pull up that, that education? I'm just going to buy some on my phone. Absolutely. I got, I've got uh, here. Thank you for that. And if we're going over uh, quotes from billionaires, um, one of my favorites from uh, George Soros is uh, invest first, investigate later. And what that means essentially is like, you don't always know, need to know exactly what's behind a project or a company as long as you can recognize that there's a wave coming or it is in the process of, of coming up. So I love yeah, that. Invest first, investigate later. That's what I, um, that's that's what I did with the call option. I, I bought, I, I knew something was coming with Sailor and I didn't know what, but I just went for it. That's yeah. exactly what you just described. That's awesome. I think what people, I think what a lot of people don't realize is that you don't have to be like a genius or to understand the market or to trade successfully. I, I, I love the analogy of surfing, right? Like you don't have to know the fluid dynamics and the physics behind what creates safe. All you need to do is have the awareness to recognize that a wave is coming and have the courage and conviction to put yourself in a position to ride that wave out for as long as possible. And that's all that trading is. And uh, yeah. Rob asked me to bring this up, but this, uh, my community over at Market Rebellion uh, Crypto, we have an education curriculum. Um, our first courses were on uh, cryptocurrency, kind of understanding what blockchains were, what all the different platforms were used for. But now we've branched much more into fundamental analysis and technical trading. So if you're interested in learning about technical analysis, uh, we just added a course last week that will teach you TA from scratch with videos, um, uh, with quizzes, and uh, with handouts as well. So if you want to get access to that, you can go to marketrebellion.com slash crypto, and it's just a dollar for the first month. Um, but if you want to learn TA from scratch and you know ask 
Monty and myself and our other analysts questions, you can do that all in our service at uh, markerrebellion.com slash crypto. So thank you, Rob, for lighting me that shameless plug real quick. That looks great, CJ. That looks really awesome. Are there any are there any other kind of plugs that aren't shameless? Let's just be honest. We all gotta eat, man. We all gotta eat. Let's go eat. That's right. Uh, well, to, to write on the philosophical plug, um, back to that, I, I thought what CJ said, you know, you, you don't know, you need to understand electricity either to flip on a light switch and take advantage of it. Uh, <laughs> That's true. You know, buy Bitcoin. It's like, well, what is it? Don't worry about it. Just buy Bitcoin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. You shut up and you buy it. All right. So yeah. last things, let me come over here. Um, ba, 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 ba. so links this they all look all, all my videos pretty much look the same in the in the uh descriptions so if you're looking for market rebellion there's the link trade the chain there's a link right there for that and the trading trading you can click right there and it's going to bring you over to here which orchid there's some good trades so far weston yeah you did well done or for four um yeah you know like you said, it's not, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to, to succeed. You just need the right tools, uh, a strategy, um, risk management, and be disciplined. Yeah. Put that last, last one at the front of the list. <laughs> hey, what yeah. was the... Yeah, seriously. The price was, it was 40, off? what was it, 45 cents or 47 cents? Because uh, I, I just... Think the, you trigger, the trigger was 47. So oh. although it's priced yeah, our trigger to enter would be at 40 46 okay because i've got it right now i've got it at 45 on voyager that's mm -hmm. what i got it at okay and i put in a whopping 25 well, bucks so this better work okay well that might work out better for you then if if it plays out okay and i'll put the yeah. watch i mean yeah 25 bucks i'm coming after you cj okay you too weston so that's it. So everybody, um, if you made it all the way to the end of the video, congratulations, you made it. Thanks so much. Why don't you hit the thumbs up? That really help all three of us. Also consider subscribing. We like those too. And uh, that is it. Also, if you like these types of videos, the two months going to pop up on your left and right. But uh, YouTube, actually, I'll do the magic today. I'll put them in there. And that is it. So Weston, CJ, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Let's see how this trade goes, huh? Thank you. All yeah, right. super fun. You guys. Adios.